God damn. Look at that sexy bastard. Anyways, oh, hey guys, how you doing? I'm in the garage today, and the reason I'm in the garage is because, oh, just got a text message. I want to share with you guys, you know I need a better angle on that, huh? How's it going? I'm in the garage because I want to share with you guys what I take to the gym every time I go there. And also, uh, I have a few extras. Anyways, so uh, right now I'm about to actually head to my dad's house so that I can get him to put on some of this tanning accelerator on my back because uh, I don't want to go without any of that on my back. Also, this right here is my Jack 3D, my pre workout supplement. And I'm gonna take this at my dad's house or when I get to the tanning salon. And I'm gonna do probably a 15 minute, like level one session. So we'll drink that when I get to the tanning salon, right as I, you know, hop into the tanning bed to get bombarded with radiation. I'm just getting UV rays. Um, right here is my BioTest uh, intra workout supplement. It's, it mimics BCAAs. That's all you should know. Um, it's basically like BCAAs, you can just say that, alright? It's got creatine, it's got, it's got beta alanine, so it keeps you strong and focused and whatnot. Uh, maybe even caffeine, I don't know. Um, so, after that, I got a protein shake and I got a half a cup of egg whites in here. I also have two scoops of Optimum Nutrition Whey Protein right in here. Two bananas. Uh, to act as the insulin spike. I could use dextrose, but I'm just going to use bananas. I'm not really feeling dextrose right now. Okay, now here's a very important part. This is my gym bag. And actually, this is a brand new gym bag. It's by OGO, something like that. There's my old one. And one thing I haven't transferred yet is the chalk. You can buy chalk for like $1.50 or something at Sports Authority. I get two at a time. Keeps you good for tons of months. Um, all right, let's begin. What do I got in here? I got a tennis ball. Why do I have a tennis ball? Um, reason I have this is if I have a knot that a medicine ball can't get out, oh, say my butt, my hams, or my quads, I'll use a tennis ball, lay on my knot for anywhere between a minute to three minutes. It usually gets it out, and uh, that's the reason why I can squat so deep and why... Uh, you know, I rarely ever get injuries. It's because I do medicine ball, myofascial release, and I use this as well. Works better than uh, foam rollers. Okay. I have these kind of straps, harbinger straps. You guys already know about these. It goes on just like that. Uh, I know Nick Wright did a video on how to put them on, so just look him up if you don't know how to put these on. But I recommend everyone has a pair of these. You don't have to get this brand, but it really helps if you want to start to... Uh, uh, up your deadlift or say up your your, your rowing ability uh, when you still have you know weak grip I recommend you know you do as much um, of the, do a majority of your lifting without these but uh, let's say if you're going for a new PR and your hand strength is dying out on you go ahead and put these on or if you're doing you know weighted pull-ups you can put these on if you want but I usually do most of my stuff with this like I can do 315 pound penlay rows with just you know chalk and no belt and no, no none of this even so what else I got I got this is a 60 pound band cable whatever you want to call it and I have a hundred pound cable the reason why I have that is if I want to do some random burnout stuff with uh, for arms or for anything I also use it for rotating my uh, basically for shoulder health if you could say I'll show you exactly what I mean uh, in between every set of bench press, oh, please, God, you don't want that camera full. All right, I'll start with a wide grip like this. Just grip it, pull it out a little bit, and then rotate it behind your head. Let it touch the bottom. And keep it, you know, keep your arms extended as you do it. And keep your arms pulling outward. And you could do a more narrow grip. Do it again. 
You can do them again, just like that. And for me, if it kind of stretches out the chest a little bit, but also I feel like it, it saves my shoulders a little bit. So you can give that a try. Let me know how you like that. I freaking like that. All right. Also, my music of choice comes on an iPod Shuffle. The reason why I have an iPod Shuffle, it clips just like this. You've got to carry it in your pocket. Uh, you don't have to really worry about it banging up against stuff. It's very safe. You can put your, if this is in the way, you just put this in your shirt. Um, you can put this on a hat. You can put it anywhere. It's really, really easy. And uh, it works with me. You don't, it doesn't have a screen on it, so you can't get distracted by anything. Like on an iPhone, you could, oh, you got your text messages, you got Facebook, you got Spankwire. Anything can distract you, and you really don't want that. All you need is the music, just to keep you, you know, focused, get you pumped up. A couple cuss words here and there. I have a jump rope, and this is by uh, Everlast. And to, to be completely honest, I don't know if I just suck at jump roping or what, but I on I, I hate this jump rope. To me, it sucks. I want to kill it. Like I've never gotten this thing to work for me. This thing, I, I really hate it. I hate it so much. I can't get this damn thing to work. It's a leather jump rope. Damn it! What's the knots in it? But anyways, from the the first time I tried it till now, I've never gotten this thing to work. Oh man, this is low ceiling. Let's see if I can even make this thing work. And don't hate on me because I, I used to be like a very, very, very good jump roper. I was doing you know triple jumps, double jumps for days, and I could I could go super fast. See the thing is, I don't think it's long enough. I think this was made for a tiny uh, individual, a, a small individual, a short person. It just, it, it, it seems like it, it gets narrow and I can't clear my feet. Anyways, I hate that. So don't get that. I recommend you do not ever buy this kind of Everlast jump rope. You heard it from me. I use a Valio. I think that's a medium sized uh, lifting belt. It works great. I'm sure there's better ones. This is great and it was cheap compared to some of the stuff you might find elsewhere. Got it at Big Five. This is the medium size. I used to wear the small size, but I like this one because it um, gives a little more area of support. I have a Grizzly fitness accessories chain belt. I actually had to go and buy this at Lowe's because my old one, I, I, I lent this belt to a friend and he brought it back without this. And, uh, <laughs> I was kind of pissed, but anyways, I was I was without a belt for like a, like three months, so I went and bought this for six bucks. It holds up to 320 pounds. That works with me. Hopefully, these chains are as strong as the link. Um, yeah, hopefully. I have my Vibram Mox. I also own a pair of Vibram uh, KSOs. I think they're called. I love these. I work out with these every day. The only thing these might not be the best for is running outside of the house or outside a facility and they're not the best for doing your calves. Um, normally, you know, I, I, the reason why I say that is actually because it kind of breaks down the material. These things kind of fall off like the, the, the big toe part, fell off on both and on one of them I actually have a slightly big hole. It's right there and uh, it's just a slit is what it looks like. But actually, it, it opens up and my, my, my big toe is kind of popping out. I have my workout book right there. Got all my stuff and sometimes I forget a pencil. That really, really sucks. So, <laughs> I usually log it in my, uh, in my phone if I do that. And then I have leg, I'm sorry, uh, just knee wraps, elbow wraps, whatever you want to call them. In case uh, I'm hitting some sort of PR, low rep PR on squats and I feel like I need them. I have bubble gum for those days where you feel like something belongs in your mouth. It wasn't meant to be dirty. Uh, I'm serious. Um, I have a lock just in case, you know, shit hits the fan. I can't have my bag on the floor. I always have my bag on the floor because I need all this stuff. And I have one of these bad boys. Uh, you heard it click. Or maybe that was just my hand cracking. But, uh, yeah, this is a 150 heavy grip. Let me just show you. Just 
Matt, why can't you? Why didn't you show us? Yeah, hey, I'll show you. See that? Okay. Anyways, that's what I take to the gym. All right. I sometimes take a camera because I'm cool like that. Get my film going. If it's you know like past ten o'clock, I can take my shirt off and do all sorts of nasty stuff. But I don't do that on a daily basis. This is the tanning accelerator that I use. And this video is a little long and I shouldn't be making it because I'm kind of running late and I have a social to throw tonight. But I made this video for you guys so that you can see what I take to the gym all in all. And if I could add anything, what would I add, huh? Well, first of all, I have to transfer the chalk, but I would go out and get a better jump rope for cardio. Uh, huh. Get more pens and pencils for, to write down stuff. Um, hmm. You know, I think I'm really good at uh, All I'd really do is just upgrade the equipment. I might use, uh, e what, what's the brand? EFT, e e F Elite Fitness, EF EFS, whatever it is. Elite, ah, oh, damn, I, I can't believe I'm forgetting this. Um, Elite, F Elite FTS, there you go. I get their equipment because I've just heard great things about them and I know tons of competitive powerlifters use their equipment. And you probably want to see me, you probably don't like to just listen to me talk as you, you can't even see my, my mouth moving. So let me set this up. Um, I get more cables. Uh, I'd get maybe, oh yeah, wrist wraps, something for uh, heavy bench days, just in case. I, I haven't had the need for them. Then again, I'm not no powerlifting champion. Pretty strong. I just hit 315 for three on the bench. I think last, actually on my birthday, on my freaking birthday. And I didn't even have my homeboys there spawning me. I, I got one of my, actually, it was one of my homeboys. It was one of my homeboys, but it wasn't the regular guy that I used to go with. Had him spawn me, hit 315 for three. The big dudes in the gym, they were like, good shit. That was, that was pretty sick. Uh, huh, okay. Hold on a second. Ah, for sure. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff I'm doing tonight. Anyways, I got a bunch of stuff to do. I got gym, I got tanning. Visit my daddy, ain't feeling too good. Anyways, guys, I hope everyone's doing great. This was just a Flex For All 2 video for my, 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 on my bodybuilding page. Um, competition coming up July 16th. Uh, dedicating it to my dad. <laughs> Anyways, take care. Peace. To the gym I go.